Hello everybody, my name is OXFU, and I'm here to welcome you to a an anniversary video. I've been uploading videos for about two years, come today, March 10th, 2013. I had to think of the year for a second. <laughs> and I decided that what I'm going to do, instead of making a special of a random video game or something, like I did last year. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to re-record one of my earlier Let's Plays. Uh, this is Shadow of the Colossus. I was a bit... not disappointed, but I thought that I, that I could do better. This was also a very important Let's Play, in that it really sort of cemented my style. I don't know what my style is, but it did give my commentary more of a, uh, a of its own voice. So we're gonna watch Wander, that is the man seated on the horse, Agro. <laughs> uh, we're gonna watch them trek through this mountain carrying well, we, we, we haven't met her yet, but that wrapped up figure is... her name is Mono. So... I'm gonna stay a little silent during these opening cutscenes, just let you take things in, because the music is quite fantastic. And it's very cinematic, so I'll see you in a few minutes. I know I said I'd see you in a few minutes, but I did want to make a note of something that, well, as you can see, this is a very cinematic opening, but it's not, it's not a very, I guess I would say pretty opening. It does look very PS2. It doesn't look like it was a pre-rendered cutscene, and I believe all of this was made using in-game models, which is fantastic. There are a couple of parts that I'm not sure, especially that fern near the beginning where you saw the water dripping down on that. I'm not sure if that is an in-game model or not that's being used. I don't remember rain ever interacting with plants in that way, but I could be wrong. Oh, look at this, though. Just the sense of scope from this shot. It's fantastic. Right from the beginning, you just get this sense of desolation and loneliness, which is going to stay with you throughout the entire game. Especially seeing that you've got all that bountiful forest on one edge, and then it's just desert. Also, I'm not an architect, but that bridge design seems like it wouldn't work. I don't know if any of you are architects, and you could tell me, like, oh no, this is, this is fine, but... <laughs> anyway, welcome to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, OXFU. And we're gonna jump right in. Now, like I said before, this is a re-recording. And I'm going to do my best to try to give it the do I believe it deserves because this was a very this is a very hard project to do for your second let's play. Let's just say that, <laughs> especially when I hadn't well completed all of it. There were a few colossi that I hadn't fought. Oh yeah, you can actually move around the camera and zoom it. I'm showing that right now. Um. I'm not going to show that at any other point in the game because it kind of detracts from the cutscenes, but 
Use the left thumbstick, or no, the right thumbstick to move around the camera. R2 to zoom in and out. Come on, aggro, it's just a dark hallway. I know you don't want to go down these stairs, and it would be a disaster if you tripped and fell. But, you know, we gotta make it in. Again, just that sense of loneliness, emptiness, something that was once grand but now isn't. It's an interesting game, too, because, well, all of Team Ico's games are interesting in this way. Well, the two that they've made, I think they only made two, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. But just giving you all this information but not explaining it. Which is what I think sets it apart more than anything else. It gives it a sense of being more of a real world than, say, a world where everything is explained. <laughs> I love that Aggro uses the same sort of stock horse sounds that uh, Epona does from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. I think I said that in the original Let's Play, but it's I still think it's funny. <laughs> oh, just the teasing in this cuz we see her legs. We know that she's a we know that she's a young woman just from her legs, but it's just the build up to this which is great. Well, young woman or young boy. But by not showing us, it builds up that tension and PS2 rendered 3D model <laughs> of a sheet. <laughs> Was you hick? How well yet for long? You could do with the cook. So in case you didn't notice, nobody actually uses eyes in this world, they just use iFadas. So every eye they say is pronounced E. Now this is an interesting shot, because you actually, um... It actually breaks away from 100, the 180 degree rule, as you can see there. It's switched from one side to the other. Again, which is a bit interesting. Same here, it just rotated around the character, something you don't see... often. You know, breaking the rules of Hollywood continuity. But it's cool, because it gives it its own sort of feeling. makes it a little unique, you know? It's not totally cinematic, it's a game.
you あいこ。いつ I would click if the least do is Alright, exposition's over, right? <laughs> it just seems like that sweeping shot would lead up to Shadow of the Colossus in big black letters above the hills, like the beginning of the movie. Okay, we get to control Wanda right now, right? Right? No, nah, because we still have the letterboxing down below, but I forgot. Oh, man. Nope, we're gonna do a jump cut. And now we can control Wander. <laughs> that is one thing that I don't like about this game, is that they... They tend to do jump cuts a lot when they want to zoom in. But... They don't change the angle or anything, so it's kind, it, it's kind of a little unsettling. Because it's just like, oh, we're far away. Oh, we're closer. So now we're wander. We can jump. We can roll around. We get a sword. We get a bow. We can chop around with a sword. We can shoot the arrow. But probably most important is what they just said there is we can use circle to raise our sword in the sunlight. And we can check, well, where Colossi, uh, Colossus is. And the rays will spread as we get away from the Colossus, and they'll go close together, and the controller will rumble as we get closer. So, let's go! <laughs> All my bones are broken. <laughs> oh yeah, we can also call aggro, which is probably the more, one of the most important but buttons in the, in the game, as we'll see later. 
Oh man, I always have the hardest trouble riding aggro as well, because I always think, oh, you gotta... You gotta push forward while you're controlling him, but no. Just press left and right as you keep mashing X. You can also stand, use the bow, use the sword, shoot at things, which we're gonna be using later on. And there are these... I don't want to call them mangoes, but certain fruits in uh, trees that we can shoot down, go over them, use circle to pick them up, and look, it increased our health by just a tiny sliver. There are also gecko, gecki, <laughs> I don't even, geckos that you can find around, and the black yeah. ones I believe will recover your health. Yeah. Whereas the ones with white tails will actually give you more grip gauge. And we'll go over grip gauge later on, because we haven't really seen it yet. A lot of those trees also, the taller ones, will have moss on one side, so you can climb up them. It's... it's... it's kind of cool. So again, just showing off the sword and... You know, gotta go up there! Because I realized I just ran towards where the first Colossus was without ex without really being like, Oh, where is he? But it's not really that important. Oh! <laughs> Cutscene! Yep, he, he's up there, we know. <laughs> Let's go. So, you'll see walls like this all the time with moss covering them. You can just hold R1 after jumping towards them and you can climb up. And R1 is really the most important button in this game. <laughs> because, well, again, we'll see. But it's as much... It's not a really a platformer, because... Well, there's plenty of platforming, but you do a lot more other things. It's more just pure adventure. So you can crouch using R1 as well, roll under it like I showed earlier. But there, there's a lot of climbing and just getting around the place. The best thing about Wander is he's just this lanky, lanky preteen. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure he's a teenager, but he looks like a preteen. Um, he looks quite prepubescent. Uh, so his, his jumping around and running and everything always looks really awkward. <laughs> it just makes it even better. He's not this immortal Superman, but he gets, he gets past things that would... <laughs> well... You'll see. Oh. My God. That's the Colossus? I mean, I thought he'd be big, but... Look at him, he's even shaking the trees as he steps. Which is aw an amazing touch. I love that. It gives him such a... These guys such a sense of weight. So, this first Colossus, his name is Valus. He is sort of an ogre. Not an ogre, uh, sort of a a minotaur, as we'll see when he turns around. He's got hoof feet, horns on his head, and he's absolutely covered with fur. <laughs> he's also one of the few colossi, I think there's three or four, that actually use weapons. So. And I'm gonna actually... Aha! Yeah, I forgot. You can actually use the whistle to get their attention. When you're close to aggro, you'll just yell out aggro. When you're far away, you'll use the whistle. And, well, got his attention. You can also shoot arrows to, at them. Uh, the furred areas are where you can actually damage them with the arrows. They don't really do much damage, but... Now, what I'm trying to do here is... There is a way to actually jump on his mallet. And he'll carry him... You'll he'll, he'll carry you up to him. And sometimes you can jump onto him from there. It's kind of difficult to do, though, and I... Yeah, yeah, I know... I know I can use the... <laughs> I can use the sword to look for his weak spots. That is one of the other things that I don't really like about this game, that it gives you hints when you're not really asking for them. Which is... For a couple of bosses, that would be good. The bosses where it's easy to figure out what you're, you're able to do, it's annoying that they give you the hints, because... You can figure it out on your own. The ones where it's difficult to figure out what it's what, you, what you're supposed to do, they give you really vague hints, and I've spent... When I first played this, I've spent over an hour on just one Colossus trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. So, 
Unfortunately, I'm not able to get up on the club this time. It's... It's a different way. One of the one of the ways I'll be doing this le new Let's Play is I'll be trying out different ways to get up on top of the Colossi just to keep it a little a little different, you know. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get up here. See that black spot? They only sh the black spots only show up when you have your sword out, by the way. And you're supposed to stab it, which makes him go down on one knee. You're supposed to climb up his ass hair and just keep going. <laughs> Now you'll see that down in the bottom right, along with our health, which is dangerously low, geez, uh, we have a grip gauge, and this will get lower the longer you hold on to something, and when it runs out, the pink's, the pink bit, uh, we will, well, we'll fall. Getting dangerously close, I'm actually really, really lucky here, because I actually get up. <laughs> and you can crouch down, uh, it'll sort of act like holding on to the ground. You, it, It'll be harder to move you around. You can still be rolled around and stuff, but you'll recover your health and grip much faster. Now, the way you use the grip is that while holding on, use triangle to jump and a little circle will expand out of the middle and once it gets bigger, you can jump farther. Now we're going after his head because that's where the little sigil is that the sword is showing us and you're going to use square, it's going to get big, we're going to stab, and we'll do a lot of damage to him. Oh yeah, lovely black blood will pump out. A cool thing about these guys as well, you see their eyes will change from blue to orange and such. Uh, blue is sort of when they're docile, when they don't care about what you're doing, and orange is when they're hurt or angry. Like now. First colossi down. Ballas. First of the Colossi, I should say. First Colossus. <laughs> Down. Valis. I'm sorry, but I had to go. I have to save Mono! Not really sure why, she's a cursed maiden, but... Okay, let's go back. Come on, Aggro, where are you? Let's go back get another- Oh god! <laughs> So, we are... being tainted every time we kill a Colossus. Which is absolutely great. And by great, I mean terrible. Who knows what that'll do to us. Anyway, let's see the fruits of our labor! Is Mono... revived? No, we've got 14 Colossi. What am I talking about? Ah, there's a shadowy figure. Did he bring us back? Is that Valis? Oh good, we're 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 all right. Come on, come on, Wander. We've got more work to do. I just love the details on his clothing too. Like you can see the stitching down the side of his leather jerkin. You don't see that often. Well, you don't see that often for that age games. Statue down, 13 more to go. Priceless art destroyed. <laughs> Next episode? In the seaside cave, it moves slowly. Hmm. We've got another Colossus to take care of. Next time on Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with Mio Xfu.